Oh no. Uh, whoa. Looks like the battle here was intense. The Master Diviner must have launched the campaign while we were delayed in the Artisanship Commission. She must have divined it when it was the right time. I can't imagine Fushuan obeying orders to the word. Indeed. Since General Jing Yuan tasked the Master Diviner with commanding the Cloud Knights, he must have known she'd act on the results of her divination. Thank goodness the General didn't make us go with the Knights. Fighting is totally different from adventuring. All these people... It's tough to bear. I'm afraid this is nothing, Benefactor. Centuries ago, an emanator of abundance besieged the Lafu with the aim of taking the Ambrosial Arbor. They destroyed half our delves and killed most of the Cloud Knights. Wow. For long life species, such events are more like yesterday's memories than ancient history. This awful spectacle is child's play in comparison. Hey, is that supposed to make us feel better? <laughs> it's hard to tell if the Master Diviner won or lost here. I think she won total victory. Seems to me her troops were wiped out. Hey, whose side are you on? I can't see many Cloud Knights. The Sienjo must have fought well. Not necessarily. There'd usually be a base with supporting forces set up after a successful engagement, but we don't see any of that. Let's look around and see if we can find some clues. Here! There are still survivors here! <sighs> what? <laughs> You're not the knights. What is your purpose here? It's dangerous. We're reinforcements sent by the general. Where's everyone else? Yeah. <laughs> Resorting to short life species as reinforcements. <laughs> Jing Yuan is truly running out of options. Yeah. Run! She's a disciple of Saintus Medicus! What? Silence. If my healing worked, you'll become one of us. And then it's not just me they'll be running from. What? Leave here. I can't control myself anymore. Oh, so close. The lives of short life. Wait, what? So fleeting, Why seek death? Why did you come to the Sien? Three. Oh my gosh. Immortality. You don't have to appease Jing Wen. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus can provide. I meant to go towards the middle target. Your end approaches. You failed to send you. Finally. Oh, hold on. We'll find someone to help. Don't waste your time. They've converted me. I don't have much longer. Oh no. Go. The Master Diviner's troops are ahead. He stops talking. Could be because he is exhausted, or he's waiting for you to leave him be. Let's go. That's sad. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus were in hiding for so long. Now they finally show their face. Did the Master Diviner fail to foresee this? Be careful, benefactors. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus worship Yaoshi, the plague's author, the greatest enemy of the Sienjo. The Alliance has been trying to root out their secret organization for millennia. It's no coincidence that they've chosen this moment to reveal themselves. Who goes there? Show yourselves! Wait, it's you. Quickly, in here! It's dangerous outside. You recognize us? Are you not the General's guests? The Master Diviner prophesied your arrival. We were ordered to wait for you under any circumstances. Bushwan was here? Yes, 
The Master Diviner ordered us to remain stationed here and went to scout ahead. They're saying the disciples of Sanctus Medicus have returned. They haven't been seen for an age. The troops are anxious. It's good that you're here. The Master Diviner said the Knights weren't to move out until you arrived. Please wait in the camp. We'll decide on our next steps once the Master Diviner returns. Okay. That the Cloud Knights received orders not to advance is a bad sign. The Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. I've heard the name before. If memory serves, they're an underground sect of the Abundance that's said to have lain dormant within the Sienjo, plotting to overthrow the Alliance. The Stellaron has certainly caused Abundance-like abnormalities. Is that what motivated the Disciples to come out of the Shadows? No. The Knight's main force remains intact. Something must have happened. Something we're not aware of. The Master Diviner isn't here. Let's head into camp and see what we can learn from the troops here. Okay. Good idea. Why don't you take a look around, Benefactors? My feet need a rest. Master Diviner, you're back. Fushuan! I have kept you waiting, but the deceit of the Disciples is laid bare to me now. You kept us waiting, all right. Why didn't you tell us about the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus earlier? Please tell us the whole truth this time. Apologies. To avoid dissemination of intelligence, the General and I kept the involvement of the Disciples to ourselves. It is a clandestine organization that seeks to overthrow the Alliance. Before the Stellaron disaster, the Disciples had remained veiled in shadow for years. Their emergence reflects their intricate connection to this calamity. The conflict is difficult, Master Diviner, but you have led your forces from the front lines and beyond in pursuit of the enemy. Admirable work. Hardly. A Diviner must acquire first-hand knowledge in order to calculate the future. Collecting intelligence in this way assists me in achieving the right answer. Wait, what's all this about a difficult conflict? The Disciples of Sanctus Medicus have been scheming for a long time, but our army is in no way inferior. How can things be so difficult? Is this a segue into us joining the fray? It would seem you came prepared. Yes. The first time we met Madame Yukong, she said something like, this is a Sienjo affair, and there's no need for the Express to get involved. <laughs> and now, here we are, running around doing everything. Even the IPC takes it easier on us. Oh, let me guess. What are we up to this time? Could it be heading to the front lines? Leading the Cloud Knight charge? Well, try this on for size. Nope! I can't stand any more of this fighting, so there. March. <sighs> Who said you'd be heading to the battlefield? Uh, we're not? Mm hmm. See what Do happens when you orders. assume? He said that the value of unexpected guests lies in the unexpected. The Cloud Knight's assault was to demonstrate our power to the enemy head on. Now it is time for the unexpected. Please, come with me. Okay. Friend of the Cloud Knights. After receiving the Ambrosial Arbor, the Alchemy Commission was once the Law Fu's most vital commission. After all, it was they who changed the Sienjo natives into long life species. They also developed many incredible technologies from the treats, but in the end, the alchemists grew discontented and began to obsess over the manipulation of life. Research into the arbor poisoned their minds. The more they pursued it, the more they longed for it. Hmm. Come on. Morning bells chime in a dream. Evening mist gathers around me. Do you see that? What is that? 
What huge elixir crucibles. There's still smoke coming out of them. This is where the alchemists practiced the way of immortality in ancient times. They erected elixir crucibles here to absorb the power of the arbor, turning fantasy into reality. Since the smoke from the crucibles never ceases, this place was named Eve Mist Mansion. An elegant name, but as far as the art of war is concerned, it's a death trap. As long as the crucibles are lit and the smoke continues to linger, we cannot get any closer. This is why the Cloud Knights lost control and became Mora struck? Indeed. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus infuse the smoke that permeates this delve with medicinal pellets that elicit Mara. Unless the Cloud Knights were able to march with their breath held, they would be doomed to fall into disarray. Moreover, no one can know whether their comrade was about to be stricken with Mara. Is there anything better than fear for destroying the morale of an army? The Cloud Knight's first assault was just a cover. You're using the main army to attract the enemy's attention, while we douse the elixir crucibles and stop the smoke. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus renounced their century of secrecy and chose to reveal themselves, meaning they feel confident of victory. But no matter how well prepared they may be, their focus has always been the Cloud Knights. They are completely unaware of your existence and capacity, and in short, cannot be prepared against you. Why not get the Foxians and Vidyahara to try? Indeed. This demonic vapor is a weapon targeted against the Cloud Knights. The Ambrosial Arbor is taboo for the Lafu, and the Sienjo Alliance has always been fiercely independent. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus could never have guessed that the General would seek outside help. They won't be prepared against short life species. Is this what General Jing Yuan meant by unexpected guests? I wouldn't hazard a guess. All I can say is that the predictions of the Stellaron Hunters were more accurate than mine. The future that Kafka seeks is becoming reality. One step at a time. Look, I don't want to act according to their predictions, but I guess this is the only way. Rather, only this way leads to the known best result. If we can afford to choose, then none would choose to leap off a cliff. True. Besides, this is not my decision alone. The duty of the Master Diviner is to bring luck and avoid misfortune. I don't want my choice to plunge the Lafu into a terrible future. To return to the matter at hand, only you can douse the Elixir Crucibles without being harmed by them. What say you? <sighs> Fine. I didn't hear a please, but... Seeing as we do kind of have superpowers around here... Mr. Yang, what do you think? I will come at once when the smoke dissipates. You won't be left to fend for yourselves. Fur? They aren't so different from us short life species when it comes to worries and suffering. Wait, Miss Ting Yun! Why are you still here? You're too close to the crucible! Thank you for the concern, but I'm fine. The general commanded me to stay with you. I dare not go against military orders. Your life is more important, Miss Tingyun. Go back. We can explain to the general. <laughs> There's really no need. I've spent my years traveling the universe. Not to mention, I'm younger and stronger than I look. Even you benefactors have probably lived longer than me. Okay. <laughs> Yay, we did it! Oh, can't see the smoke anymore. So, you succeeded in dowsing the elixir cauldrons. Who is that? Unimportant. 
The inevitable is already upon us. What do you mean? Don Shu. It's you. I have met you before in my capacity as Chief Alchemist, Master Diviner. You don't seem surprised. Indeed. The General and I knew that the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus must be hiding in the Alchemy Commission. However, without evidence, we couldn't bring charges before the Commissions. We had to wait for you to show yourselves. And now, your charges are many. Drawing Stellaron's spirits into the Sienjo, resurrecting the Ambrosial Arbor, striking down our people with Mara. The Ten Lords Commission will address these transgressions during your reckoning. Crimes? If I am guilty, then all of our Sienjo ancestors are also guilty. They were the ones who accepted the blessings of the Abundance and turned their descendants into long-life species. The Disciples of Sanctus Medicus are only walking on the road our ancestors once took. How is it a crime to seek ascendance? In days of old, the roots of the Ambrosial Arbor enveloped the Sienjo Lafu like a living creature. We controlled the Stellar Seas, and none could stand in our way. Everyone could become celestial, and shift form at will. Divine miracles descended onto all nine Sienjo ships. What a glorious time that was. That's pretty insane. How far the Sienjo has fallen. We consent to be commanded by the devilish archer. Suffer continuously at the hands of the denizens of abundance. And the Ten Lords Commission even forces us to give up our immortality. How pitiful. I do not blame you for your ignorance. We were not born in the era when the Ambrosial Arbor first descended. Nor did we witness its miracles. But now, we now have an opportunity to restore the ancient laws. Right. <laughs> Forgive me for thinking you might have harbored some profound enlightenment. Yours is the same old talk of those who seek power and give up on their humanity. Our Sienjo ancestors fought side by side with the Arbiter, laid waste to the Arbor, and establish the Ten Lords Commission to lay down the lines between life and death. In doing so, we enshrined our future as human beings. Celestials? There are no Celestials on the Sea and Joe. The divine miracles of the Abundance, the manipulation of life and death. Your deeds are nothing but evil. I have nothing to say to you, Master Diviner. You have already made your decision. You have discarded power. A most foolish choice. Oh boy. Master Diviner, allow me to show you what the Celestials will be capable of. Merciful Medicus. Heal, heal, heal. What's happening? The Ambrosial Arbor's descent will bring us undying bodies. What? The one who gave us the Stellaron said that. Pantelia, the disciples of Sanctus Medicus have fulfilled our promise. You, Lord Ravager, must do the same. Now, quickly. Little pawn, must you force me to intervene directly? I'm loath to flout my philosophy of destruction. What? Never mind. 
It would seem the time has come for other means of dismantling the Xianzhou from within. <sighs> what a shame. Uh, it would have been nice to observe for a little longer. <laughs> You received the gift of abundance. Surely you can withstand the blessing of destruction. Mr. Yun! No! <laughs> what? Ten factors. Allow me to reintroduce myself. What? I am Lord Ravager of the Oh no. I have come with a single of the Sienjo. Oh no. What? Keep calm, all of you. This is a formidable enemy. We have to stay together. This is insane. You are fortunate that Zephro and Selenova never set their gaze upon the Sienjo. They have no qualms about doing the destruction by the Since that stubborn agenda of yours has forced me to take center stage, I'll make sure I steal the show. <laughs> My apologies for leaving so soon, but I have an appointment to keep. I'm sure my Wait, no, she's leaving? To entertain you. I should savor it for me. Wait, hold on a second. Are you really saying that Miss Ting Yun was a member of the Antimatter Legion all along? And what was that fire that came out of her? And her body? Where did it go? Mr. Yang, you're smart. What happened just now? <sighs> the flame we witnessed claimed to be Lord Ravager Fantilia, a name I've heard other nameless speak of in the past. She's one of seven Lord Ravagers who serve Nanook, and finds pleasure in witnessing the self-destruction of mortals. Wow. She's led countless souls down a dark and hopeless path. Meaning that Ting Yun had long since fallen under the Lord Ravager's influence? I don't believe so. Fantilia revels in watching a corrupted mind eating away its host from inside out until the obliteration of both is achieved. But there was no indication that Ting Yun had been misguided or manipulated. It's possible that the Ting Yun we knew wasn't her true self, but an image Fantilia devised to serve her own purposes. Wow. So then, Ting Yun. You're saying that the real Ting Yun is still. I'm sorry, March. I can't say with any certainty where the real Ting Yun may be, or at what point she was replaced by the imposter. Without knowing where the body vanished to, it'll be tough to get an answer. At this point, it's all just conjecture and hope. But if that body belonged to the real Ting Yun, it does raise the question of why Fantilia would go to such lengths to destroy any evidence of her. Wouldn't it be more in line with her destructive nature to leave Ting Yun's remains behind as a, a display of power? I believe this to be Fantilia's goal, to sow seeds of doubt among us and ensnare us in a malevolent trap. It's clear that the sudden resurgence of the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus is all connected to the Lord Ravager. Pretending to be a San Zhou citizen, Planting a Stellaron in the Lafu? All part of her plan to bring about our self-destruction. Fantilia is aiming for the Ambrosial Arbor. If she succeeds, the Lofu will be deprived of its roots. 
making its destruction all too easy. We must stop her. We need to take a star skiff to scale Gorge Waterscape. The Ambrosial Arbor can be sealed from that cell. Wow. Uh, Let's make haste. Okay. That imposter had the audacity to carry out her nefarious plans right under our noses. How utterly despicable. What worries me more is just how many more antimatter saboteurs are at large. Uh, this is the Alchemy Commission. <laughs> You're pretty familiar with this place. <laughs> yep, it's the Alchemy Commission. No wonder we were getting those military broadcasts on the way over. Uh, something about the Cloud Knights gathering here, right? <laughs> They're probably coming to fix the Stellaron problem. <laughs> it's been such a long journey, but now we're finally going to meet some Cloud Knights. I'll be back with my unit. <laughs> I didn't lie to you, right? I told you I'd bring you somewhere safe, and I did. Though, we did take a bit of a detour. Before I arrived in Starskiff Haven, I had a diviner read my fortune for the journey ahead. He told me not to be concerned with the destination, but to seize my chances and travel with the current to reap the greatest harvest. Okay. Meaning? Meaning, thank you, Miss Sushang. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna go report to the nearest captain. You guys can hang around here, but don't run off too far. There will be cloud knights coming to escort you back soon. Uh, bye for now. A new message for myself. The messages never get sent. I wonder what's happening with those three. The Cloud Knights seem to be gathering for the Stellaron disaster. But why did Kafka want us to come here? What happened to them? And what happened to Blade? Yeah. That's what I want to know. I've delayed for too long. I need more information. I'm sorry. I have to catch up to my friends. Thank you for looking out for me on this journey. Both of you. What a huge cauldron. This Orient cauldron is driven by the cloud in the magic of our people, the Vidyadara. It drinks the water of the ancient sea like a whale swallows the tide and refines it into medicinal pellets. Uh. Uh. Okay. <laughs> All the elixir crucibles that the Vidyadara helped to construct contain cloud him magic. You should take this chance to learn more, young master. Are these his memories? Uh-huh. But I don't need any sort of device to help me command water. What more is there to learn? You are indeed the chosen one, with endless potential. Yet, cloud him magic is just the beginning. Of Vidyadara Mirajako? Have these shadows of the past yet to disperse? Oh, then never mind. <sighs> these memories. No. They have nothing to do with me anymore. Okay, so they are his memories. They say that you're a woman's power incarnate. Is that true? Hmm. <sighs> Long. I was exiled from the Shenzhou. What? I'm no longer one of the Scions of Permanence. The Scions of Permanence? <laughs> I doubt I will be here to see you take charge. 
No need to feel aggrieved. Fiddy Otara go through cycles of life and death, existing forever in this world. By the time you are the High Elder, my hatching rebirth will be complete, and I will be a child once again. Please take care of me. Hmm. Interesting. Searching power. It's you. You've returned, High Elder. High Elder. Something terrible is happening in Scale Gorge Waterscape. Please don't go any further. Your enemies. Your enemies are waiting for you. I'm. Uh, I'm sorry. I cannot linger here. My friends have left. I must find them. You didn't heed us then, and won't heed us now. As headstrong as you always were. It seems you already made your decision. There is a vessel bound for Scale Gorge Waterscape located ahead. He's here. Hmm. Right on time. That feeling, Kafka. It's welling up within me. That feeling. It, it's. Well, don't resist. Let the Mara strike you. What? You're here. <laughs> it's time to pay the price! It's time! You think changing form will help you escape? Escape? I've told you and that woman many times. I am Don Hung. I have nothing to do with your past. Don Hung. <laughs> you think another name and face can blot out the sin of your past? You... You didn't even experience death. I will force this suffering upon you, Don Hung. You will know the pain of death. Oh no. <laughs> Not on my watch. Who's that? Yo! You're not murdering anyone today, fugitive. You're coming with me. Jing Yuan's lapdog. <laughs> Did the general not teach you to choose your battles wisely? Hey, move back. Things are about to... Huh? You... You look so... familiar. Look out! Cool <laughs> hiding. Oh no! Your true self revealed. Stop! <laughs> Yo! What? <gasps> Done! <laughs> I have news for you, boy. Behind you is none other than the traitor of the Sienjo. What? A criminal forever banished. The High Elder of the Vidyadara. The High Elder! Stellaron hunters were the only ones to infiltrate the Sienjo. Yo! In that case, I'll bring both of you to justice. What is happening? Oh no! I 
heard of you in Bybiter Lune. First it was the Stellaron Hunters, now an exiled criminal has infiltrated the Sienja. Do not be afraid. Look! Yo! Come get me! I have no interest in stoking conflict. I came to ensure the safety of my friends. Save your excuses for the Shackling Prison! This is so cool! Out of the way! So it begins. Do you hear the music? <laughs> Better, but I'm afraid you won't be seeing your friends. They're caught in their own bitter struggle. Silence! You're not getting away either! Is that so? <laughs> Let's heat things up then. Kafka? Lady, listen to me. Unleash the Mara! Don't... Surrender! <laughs> What's wrong? He's so cool! Afraid to hurt the boy. I wonder if the others are okay. Use the skill to enhance Don Hung. We gotta make this quick. Inhibitor Lune's basic attack for up to three consecutive times? Heaven search. Full current leap? <laughs> I failed. This isn't over. you listen to me stop well blady are you satisfied What? I'm just clearing the stage for the grand entrance. Can't have you three misbehaving in front of the Lawfu's hotshot general. <laughs> Ching Yuan. Many years have passed since the two of you departed the Sienjo, and yet the circumstances of your return appear to be equally unhappy. If you still thought of me as a friend, you should have forewarned me. My task is complete. Hmm, that it is. What? Thank you for assisting the Sienjo in this small matter. Take this person away. I will pretend I didn't see anything this time. General, I... Now is not the time. What is it's happening? It's been a long time, old friend. I'm not him. Hmm. I'm sorry. You cannot leave yet. Your Astral Express friends are waiting for you in Scale Gorge Waterscape. Shall we go and see them together? What? Lunarescent Depths, a realm of singular beauty. Scale Gorge Waterscape is the same as when I last laid eyes on it. 
And here we stand so different from one another. The flesh of long life species may be immortal, but the constant of heaven and earth eludes them. You know the Vidyadara hatching rebirth cycle, General. The waters of the ancient sea have cleansed Dan Feng of his past sin. The person that once stood here alongside you is no more. I am Dan Hung. Whether Dan Feng was hero or villain has nothing to do with me. I bore his punishment, accepted my eternal banishment without complaint. But do not let his shadow cloud your estimation of me, General. <sighs> Raising old nets only darkens the water. An exercise in unhappiness. Perhaps it is your visage, the horns on your head, or the unmistakable air of the High Elder that makes the separation nigh impossible for me. I already told you, I... You did. But to what effect? If words alone were enough to change the heart, this world would be without quarrel. If you wish to rid me of the illusion of Don Feng, you must do something for me. Before I can let Don Feng die and revoke your banishment edict, I need him to do me one final favor. I can guarantee you that when it is done, you will no longer walk in anyone's shadow aboard the Law Fu. I may not be capable of the things that Don Feng was capable of. You must do it, or my promise will count for naught. If you wish to blame someone, blame your previous incarnation. Had he not committed that terrible sin, had the power of dragon transmutation been passed on intact, I would have no need to compel you. It is as I said. Here we stand so different from one another. Don Feng is no more. Now, there is only Don Hung. But I... I am the General of the Lo Fu. There are things that I wish I did not have to do, and yet I must. <laughs> Let us talk of happier tidings. The friends you made on the Express are here. Do you wish to see them? You... you brought them here? What? <laughs> yes. They are... I have been keeping careful watch against the abominations of Abundance, the Stellaron Hunters, and the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. But I never anticipated the Antimatter Legion. The hunt is far from over. Yet all the while, we find ourselves at war with other evil spirits. Hmm. From this battle onward, the Alliance must fight the Legion to our dying breath. Even if it means the end of the Law Fu. No way. No way. Asa? Oh my god! Yo! I just got Don Hung! The Imbibitor Lune form! Oh my gosh! Yo! The High Elder! Oh my god, oh my god, I'm so excited, I'm so I cannot wait to use him! Oh my gosh. Yo! Look at that! That's what I'm talking about! Look, your friends are taking the fight to the Legion as we speak. We need to help them. Let's go! They're gonna freak out when they see him. Tough luck running into me. <laughs> Xing Yuin, 
Where have you been? <laughs> Forgive my late arrival, Lady Fu. We are indebted to you and your forces. The seats of divine foresight relate the battle reports to me. As for Fantilia's plan... The Ambrosial Arbor. That's her focus. Lord Ravager Fantilia's strategy was to create civil strife. Then let it consume the Sien Zhou from within. She wanted to use the Arbor to disseminate the power of the Plague's author, and turn the Lafu into a hell of undying abominations. Hmm. That is clear to me now. Friends of the Astral Express, I have brought someone with me whom I think you'll be eager to see. Oh boy. It's a long story, March. It's me. So, you do have secret strength. <laughs> Let us save such reminiscence for later, shall we? My astral guess. When you first appeared on the La Fu, your stated aim was the resolution of the Stellaron Crisis. I was concerned that the Stellaron Hunters harbored ulterior motives and refused your offer. I see now that I was overly anxious. Nevertheless, it is true that the motives of the Stellaron Hunters were not what they appeared. <laughs> In order that the Express and the Sienjo fight side by side, Kafka lured you here and broadened the scope of the crisis. In doing so, she succeeded in making it clear that your sincerity is beyond doubt. The La Fu is in your debt, and I have no right to seek further assistance from you. However, as Lady Fu has explained, the appearance of Fantilia means that the situation is far from under our control. As General of the La Fu, it would be foolish of me not to ask Don Hong and the rest of you for your strength at this critical moment. Even if the crisis on the Law Fu had nothing to do with the Stellaron, I would be willing to help. But I can't speak for the other members of my crew. Explore, understand, establish, and connect. As the crew of the Express, that's the Trailblaze Creed we follow. Still, when the journey gets tough, those words can feel far off. Fear, risk, enemies, and death are the obstacles we face in pursuit of the creed. That's why the nameless who are able to stay the course number few indeed. Whether our destination lies before us or behind us, the decision is ours to make. Here, as on the Express, every vote counts. Come on now. Thank you, Don Hong. <laughs> How am I still one of the nameless? <laughs> I stand here at the mercy of others without true freedom to speak. <sighs> but as a descendant of the Vidyadara, I will fulfill my duty to the Law Fu. <laughs> Great! Everyone's just as heroic as when they arrived. So, what's the master plan, General? There is no master plan. Only a bet. A bet on the senior Vidyadra's incomplete exuviation charm. And on Dong Hong's ability to access the memories of the High Elder. High Elder? When the Rainbow Arbiter severed the Ambrosial Arbor, remnants of the curse of the Plague's author lingered. 
in order to make the stemming of those remnants a possibility. The Law Fu invoked the power of the Scions of Permanence. Under the direction of the High Elder, the Vidyatara guided the waters of the ancient sea to flood the Skill Gorge waterscape delve and contain the arbor to commemorate this magnificent feat and sacrifice. The Alliance erected the Dragon Vista Rain Monument, a Vidyatara statue. Ah, oh, it looks so much like Don Hong. <laughs> I wonder if... <laughs> the statue... Is that... Don Hung's brother? Oh my... <laughs> I see why you might think so. These events occurred a long time ago. Yet successive generations of High Elders have not differed greatly in their appearance. That is, until the current generation. The most recent successor did not inherit the same level of power. And their appearance is that of a child. <laughs> Do you understand, Don Hong? Since Dong Fong perished, the Law Fu Vidyadra have no longer had an individual capable of performing such feats. But you, who once kept watch over the arbor, should be able to open a way through to that great tree. What happens next is in your hands. Yo! He's just like Moses! mentioned that Scale Gorge Waterscape was once the location of Dragon Palace. Small wonder. Look at all these submerged structures. I was fortunate enough to be here during the Shuhu upheaval period. I witnessed this place in its prime. An age passed. The palace was left in ruins, and the Vidyadra used their sacred homeland to imprison the arbor. The Law Fu and the Sienjo are greatly indebted to them. <laughs> Lady Fu. Here, General. Remain here. Lead the Cloud Knights in defense of this passage. We must prevent further incidents. Jing Yuan. General, are you planning to face Gantilia alone? <laughs> I wouldn't say so. I'll be counting on a few friends for support. General, don't cast us aside. We're willing to go with you. Yes, General. We may not be the mightiest force, but it's our duty as Cloud Knights to protect the Sienjo. How can we let Outworlders face the danger while we stay behind the lines? With your permission, sir, allow me to lead the way. I understand your sentiment, soldiers. But the adversary ahead of us is not an abomination of abundance. They are a Lord Ravager of the Antimatter Legion. Crossing this line will bring you into the conflict between the Rainbow Arbiter and the Ruin Author. You have a more important duty. Cloud Knights, attention! After I enter the Ambrosial Arbor, and if the seawater returns to its original state, you must withdraw immediately and seal off the delve once more. The Master Diviner will lead you. Yes, yes General. General! Lady Fu, if I am unable to return, 
I entrust you with the important task of relaying the full account to the other Sienjo ships. I trust you will be here to reissue the order in person. But whatever the outcome, I will do as you command and honor the mission. <laughs> Spoken like a true general. Wow. Absolutely insane. I'm so excited. Yo, Star Rail is just absolutely incredible. I just, I can't get enough of this game. It's just so good. Ah, Hoyaverse, you did it again. Tell me, what was your reaction when you got up to this point? You scale court waterscape to seal the armor. Treason! Blasphemy! You've lost your senses. You think this will gain the trust of the Sienjo natives? Those who are not of our kind can never be of our mind. I understand your misgivings, but my decision is made. That is the course we must take. I... Very well. In that case, I will report you to the Preceptors and have you stripped of the name and power of the High Elder. This must be... The first High Elder that accepted the mission to quell the Ambrosial Arbor. What? According to tradition, from then on, successive High Elders were obliged to return to the Dragon Vista Rain Hall. They would guide the tides of the ancient sea to guard and strengthen the Arbor's seal. Do you remember now? Yes. Reverence to the Three Talents, the path to the Great Roots. It's the way to the root depths. Uh, is that some kind of riddle? Reverence to the three talons. This makes me think of what Leeway. What does that mean? Don't worry about it. Just follow me. Oh, what a huge palace. Completely abandoned. That must have been difficult for them. Imagine yeah. how upset you'd be if you had to abandon me. <laughs> True. For the Vidyatara, it must have been a necessary sacrifice. If your people knew that you had brought me here, there would be great unrest. They will never know. Keep quiet, Inchim. This will make us even. I will give you two hours. Research what you can. Remember. Two hours. I'm a short life species. Do you think two hours isn't enough? It will Not be for done. me. Hmm. That's Dun Fung's voice. But what about the other person? It's so familiar. Uh, is that a dragon? We've reached the end. These are the roots of the Ambrosial Arbor where the vestiges of abundance lie. Reverence to the three talents, the path to the great roots. This is it. Under the power of the High Elder, the Arbor's roots have formed into the image of a dragon. Now, I will break the final seal. Oh man. I hope everyone is prepared. Chosen to grace me with his presence. Uh oh. Ah, that witch! She was here waiting for us the whole time! Show yourself, Fantilia! And the benefactors, too! Oh, patience, patience. Uh, let me make myself presentable. 
Now I see why the disciples of Sanctus Medicus hold themselves in such high regard. The Arbor's traces really do possess the power of metamorphosis. And... Uh, Fantilia! What? Whoa. Benefactors, behold this beautiful body. The miracles of abundance live up to the name. Let's see if I can put it to good use. The very power that brought the Sienjo long life, I will use to bring it destruction. Um... Fantilia has usurped the power of the Arbor. All of you, focus on destroying the Phantom Flowers. Oh. I'll go for the body. Skill point reduced, what? So much bark with so little bite. Your attacks are futile. <laughs> this body was born of the Arbor. You are but ants. Oh boy. Careful. A thousand things. Try untangling yourselves from this. Ow! The weeds in my garden give me more grief. <laughs> Your arrogance betrays you. Victory! Yes! Finally! Crushing an ant with the weight of a star. How indulgent. What was that? The universe will end in destruction. And with it, the abundance and the hunt will disappear. General of the Sea Angel. Can your feeble strength survive this calamity? Oh, oh no. no. You take it from here. Did you think it was over, Fantilia? What? Yo, that was so cool. Finally remembered your duty of watching over the arbor. <laughs> Yo! We're still ants to you, Fantilia. So much effort to crush us, and met with so little success. I wonder what the other ravagers would think. It's almost as if you can't wait to be acquainted with them. I'm afraid you won't have the chance. Oh no! Blossom. It is time to put an end to this. Awaken from its scales. Delve hidden. This is not okay. World clouds of dragon. Time for the radiant spirit. Heed my word. Show no mercy! <laughs> Summon the lightning lord and eliminate the flower generated by Fantilia. Okay! Out of ideas, Fantilia! Yo! One percent. Blade. My indulgence. Your struggle in the face what? of certain death is. Yo. Oh no. Go. For my next trick, I shall turn each of you into my Void Rangers. The power of the destruction. 
will eat away at your flesh and transform you into pawns of the great Nanook. Let's start with this arrogant Sien Zhou. No! No! Jing Wan! I wonder if the transformation of the Sienjo general into a void manger would cast the law crew back into chaos. Destruction works in fascinating ways. Oh no! What are you? Yo! My man! Do it! No! Yo! No, 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 no! Not bad, General of the Hunt. But all I lost was a body stolen on a whim. And you, how much longer can you last? The destruction of the Sienjo is nigh. <laughs> Be gone, power of destruction. Tell the Legion that the vengeance of the hunt will fall upon them. <laughs> oh my gosh. General, are you I thought he was gonna ready? die. I'm still alive. <laughs> Not gonna make it. it. Would seem the two of us can still coordinate our efforts. <laughs> Fantilia, a truly fearsome enemy. If she hadn't attempted to turn me into a pawn of destruction. I'm afraid victory would have been far from certain. <clears throat> Fantilia had established a link between me and herself. Her well-timed strike gravely injured her. Thus, her connection to the arbor was severed. So it was all part of the plan? When Don Hung stabbed you, I was scared to death. Is Fantilia still alive? It takes more than that to destroy an emanator of destruction. Still. Fantilia won't be stirring up trouble anytime soon. Don't worry about her infecting the arbor again. It's just that sealing the Stellaron is going to take some time. Leave that to the Master Diviner. Whew. I'm afraid I may be <laughs> somewhat spent. Uh, General, keep those eyes open. Now's not the time to fall asleep. Uh, uh, hey, wake up! Bushwan and the Cloud Knights arrived. Starscape was ready to take you all to the Exalting Sanctum. All remains as it did yesterday. Wow. We did it. That was incredible. The arbor snaps. Like these boss fights are insane. The graphics are insane. The pacing is insane. It, you know, it, for a moment, you kind of forget that it's turn-based combat. Like this is, this is incredible. From the very beginning when I first heard of Star Rail and I saw glimpses of the trailers and whatnot, because I still haven't watched any of the trailers, believe it or not, I knew this was a game that I wanted to play because my favorite kind of JRPGs are actually turn-based JRPGs. So I know that that's not very popular in today's times, but I think 
Hoyaverse is doing a fantastic job at hopefully introducing this style of again. gameplay to new players, especially for those who are seasoned Hoyaverse players. Unbelievable. How many of you thought that Jing Wan was going to die? Because I definitely thought that, and I got so nervous. Ah, <sighs> cheese and rice. Well, thank you all so much for watching this video. I'll see you next time.